Air quality can become an issue when wildfires spark across the U.S. and Canada. Today, let's talk about how air quality is measured. The air quality index measures the amount of pollutants that are present in the air. It specifically takes into account these five pollutants. Aerosols, this can be dust, smoke, or ash, carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and ground level ozone. The AQI is measured on a scale of zero to 500, where any number that is 50 or under is considered good air quality. The air quality can become worse when wildfire smoke spreads from the source of the fire to other parts of the continent. Additionally, when the sun heats up ground level ozone, this can reduce the air quality as well. Ground level ozone is formed from human use of fossil fuels. Once the air quality index rises to numbers between 51 to 100, we enter the moderate level. This means that a select few citizens who are extremely sensitive to pollutants may feel some health impacts. It's code orange and above where the air quality becomes particularly hazardous. In the unhealthy for some, unhealthy, and very unhealthy levels, health officials suggest limiting outdoor activities. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson.